This is MSJ Chem. In this video, we're going to look at delocalized electrons and we're also going to compare two theories of bonding. Let's start with a review of resonance structures. Resonance structures occur whenever there is more than one possible Lewis structure for a molecule or ion. Here we have the three possible Lewis structures for the carbonate ion, each with a double bond in a different location. So therefore, there are three possible resonance structures for the carbonate ion. Next, we look at the Lewis structure for benzene. Benzene has the molecular formula C6H6. As you can see, there are two resonance structures for the benzene molecule. And each resonance structure has alternating carbon to carbon single and carbon to carbon double bonds. The carbon to carbon single bonds are composed of one sigma bond and the carbon to carbon double bonds, they are composed of one sigma and one pi bond. Resonance structures are a feature of the valence bond theory. In the valence bond theory, the pi electrons are localized between the nuclei of atoms. That means that the pi electrons which form this carbon to carbon double bond are localized between these two carbon atoms. One of the problems with the valence bond theory is that these carbon to carbon bonds in the benzene molecule are actually equal length and equal strength. So the benzene molecule does not feature alternating carbon to carbon single and carbon to carbon double bonds. So we're going to look at another bonding theory that more accurately describes the bonding in benzene. Here we have the resonance hybrid structures of the carbonate ion on the left and the benzene molecule on the right. In the resonance hybrid structure, the bonds between atoms are of equal length and strength, and that's intermediate between a single and a double bond. The benzene molecule is often depicted as a hexagon with a circle in the middle. The circle in the middle represents delocalized pi electrons, and that's what we're going to have a look at next. Delocalized pi electrons are shared between more than two nuclei, as opposed to being localized between a pair of atoms. This is a feature of the molecular orbital theory, in which pi electrons are not localized between the nuclei of bonding atoms. So this is obviously different to the valence bond theory that we looked at earlier. In the valence bond theory, the pi electrons are localized between the nuclei of bonding atoms. Next we look at the delocalized pi electrons in the carbonate ion. The delocalized pi electrons in the carbonate ion occupy pi bonded regions. Here you can see two pi bonded regions, one above and one below the plane of the molecule. The delocalized pi electrons in the pi bonded region are spread out over the four atoms. They are not localized to any bonding position, they are delocalized, which is a feature of the molecular orbital theory of bonding. Next we look at the delocalized pi electrons in the benzene molecule. The pi electrons in the benzene molecule form a delocalized pi electron cloud above and below the plane of the ring. So in this diagram, the delocalized pi electrons occupy the pi bonded region or the pi electron cloud above and below the plane of the molecule. And if we refer back to the structure of the benzene molecule, which has the hexagon with the circle in the middle, the circle in the middle represents these delocalized pi electrons in the benzene molecule. Next, we'll have a look at the resonance hybrid structures of two ions and a molecule. So we start with the ethanoate ion, then we have the nitrate ion, and then the ozone molecule. These are all molecules with delocalized pi electrons. In the ethanoate ion, both the carbon to oxygen bonds are of equal length and equal strength. In the nitrate ion, all three nitrogen to oxygen bonds are also of equal length and equal strength. And the same occurs in the ozone molecule with both these bonds being of equal length and equal strength. So let's finish with a summary. Delocalized pi electrons are shared between more than two nuclei. The bond lengths and bond strengths are intermediate between a single and a double bond. Delocalized pi electrons bring extra stability to a molecule, and that's known as the resonance energy, which we'll look at in topic 10, organic chemistry.